does its best in New York's polo grounds to hearten the team for a rugged meeting with Duke. The undefeated Blue Devils are headed for a share of Atlantic Coast Conference honors and are favored to win the day over the cadets. Army, now soundly trained and with a pin in its teeth, rears back. Siegler slashes for 12 yards. Freddy Atea, a fine quick kicker who's been keeping Duke back on its heels, rips off 17 more yards inside tackle. The ball is given to Pat Eubel and the 18-year-old yearling cuts in and out for 20 yards. Hagen is in there at quarterback. He moves to the left. Laterals, this time to right halfback Tommy Bell. The ball's on the nine-yard line. Army calls for a quick opener, and Tommy Bell breaks right through into the end zone. Chesnowskis prepares the extra point try. Good. Army leads seven to nothing in less than ten minutes of play. Duke's running powerhouse is forced to the air as Worth Lutz picks up 22 yards with the aid of Nick McKeithen on the receiving end. Lutz tosses again. This time Bob Pascal's on the receiving end. He's hit, but it's just a stride or two from the goal line. Lutz sneaks across. Duke converts. The game is tied 7-7 in the second quarter. Then Pete Van's arm strikes back. Watch this. Van's a right-hander. He's rushed. And then, with his left hand, he manages to squeeze the ball off to Atea for 15 yards, turning an apparent loss into a good game. Watch Pete Van handle that ball. Jubel gets it. The young halfback leads the Duke defenders a chase. And watch him now. There he goes. And he is over for a touchdown. Chesnowska's kick is good, and it's Army 14, Duke 7. Duke snapped back. Again on Army's goal line, it's Lutz on an option keep. He fumbles, but he has it for the TD. But there's no conversion, and it's Army 14, Blue Devils 13. Now there are only moments left in the game. It's Lutz to Boyd to Smith on a double reverse, beautifully executed by the Blue Devils. And Smith breaks away. No one between him and the goal. Watch him go. And then comes one of the greatest plays of the season. Bob Mishak, Army N, comes from nowhere, utilizes his tremendous speed to catch Smith after a 70-yard chase. Here's a close-up on that play, showing the converted Army halfback doing the incredible. There goes Smith. Looks like he's gone. But Bob Mishak is right in behind him and gets it. It's a tight situation still, for Duke has four downs to go seven yards. Keithen tries it. He makes two yards. Another handoff, and Duke fights down to the four-yard strike. The Blue Devils are battling. It's Lutz again. He fakes. He may be free, but no, Chesnowskis has him. A fine play by the right guard who came from the other side of the line. Now it's fourth down, goal to goal. But the embattled cadets repel the enemy thrust. Army holds that line. The cadets get the ball back on downs after a great goal line stand. And Freddy Atea punts out of danger. 
That's the way the big upset story of the day ended. Army 14, Duke 13, a fighting band of soldiers, carries home a mighty victory, which is shared by every happy, cheering cadet in the stands. As one Duke cheerleader said, when it was all over, we might have beaten the Army team, but we couldn't beat the whole darn corps.